Nike wearing the new Fly Knit 3 4.0. Uh, just got to pick them up the other day. Uh, and I will say they are quite amazing. Uh, I don't know if you remember, I made a review about the, the initial Fly Knit 3. Um, and one of the major things I thought was awesome about it was that it kind of wrapped around your foot like a sock. It's very comfortable. Threes are all pretty comfortable, but it was wrapped around your foot like a sock. The one thing I did not like about that was that after about an hour, an hour and a half, um, it started to kind of cut off the circulation on my foot. So that was one thing that they kind of addressed with this shoe, I think. Um, the shoe actually has laces that actually help the shoe tighten and loosen. So that's one big thing about it. I'll take this off uh, and show you guys up close what this shoe's all about. Um, so if you look, the laces are actually like functional laces. Uh, the shoe is really, really clean. It's a 4.0, as I've said before. Uh, if you look inside, it's pretty cool. The one thing I love about this shoe is that this gray part, it kind of looks like you're wearing a sock, right? So the inside looks great as well. Um, bottom is kind of your traditional free bottom. You can see I got something on there. Um, but it's kind of your traditional free bottom, so it's not, it's just the pattern's slightly different. Um, but that's what the shoe looks like. The run is great. Uh, like I said before, you guys know I'm not much of a runner, but when I do run, I want to feel comfort and I want to feel like I can move in them and I can move laterally and, and front and back and all that kind of stuff, turn around in circles. Um, the run is good. Uh, I know that uh, these ones in particular will probably get pretty dirty uh, just because there's a lot of white on them. But feel is good. Uh, you can, I can definitely feel that they're a 4.0 and not a 3.0. And the original fly knits were 5.0, and I can definitely feel the elevated heel in these, uh, which is good for some people, bad for some people, uh, indifferent for others. Um, what else can we talk about these shoes? The look, obviously, this look, I think this look is great. Uh, this color combination is great. I like the fact that they're allowing you to get a shoe that's just black and white and gray. I, uh, there's too many, for me, there's too many neon colors. You can still get some neon colors, but uh, for me, I like to obviously look at my outfit. Um, I like to keep it pretty simple. Uh, feel is good. The fit on these is a little different. So with those original fly knits, what I did was get a half size up because I just felt like the, the right size for me was actually a little too tight. Um, so I did that originally with these, and I found out that the 12 and a halfs were a little too big. So I went down back to the 12s and now these are, are, are a perfect fit. Um, running, not a problem. Um, sprinting, great. Uh, I would assume on longer runs these would feel amazing for you. Um, other than that, the fit is great. Like the ankle, you uh, the ankle is kind of tight on the ankle, but um, I haven't experienced any problems with it, like too much rub or anything like that. Uh, I like to wear short socks, and so far it hasn't really posed a problem for me. So the shoe's very lightweight, so you've got that going for you. Looks good, runs well. Uh, durability, I'm not so sure what's going to happen durability. I saw some reviews on Nike's website that one person said after 100 miles they were shot. Um, I don't know. I'm never going to run 100 miles in them, so it doesn't really matter to me. Um, but that might be an issue that you might take into uh, into uh, account when you get these shoes. They're about 120 bucks, um, and for me right now, I would say they're they're worth it. They're worth it. So that's my review on the Nike Flyknit 3 4.0. Uh, you guys have fun with that. Hope it helps you out in your decision a little bit. Uh, until next time. <laughs>